Smiling, laughing, talking, and chewing. These are all facial movements that you make on a daily basis without much thought. But if you have a temporomandibular joint disorder, or TMD, these simple movements may cause you a lot of pain. While most TMD symptoms do resolve in a few weeks to a few months, some painful conditions can be aggravated by certain behaviors or harmful habits that strain your jaw muscles or your neck muscles. Fortunately, there are things that you can do to help relieve and manage your symptoms from the comfort of your own home. Hi, I'm Dr. William Park with Bless Smile and Smile on You Dentistry. Today we will be talking about temporomandibular joint disorders, or TMD for short, and we will talk about what you can do about it at home. But before we start, if you're finding any of our content helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you can stay tuned to our future videos. The muscles and ligaments that you use to move your mouth connect to your temporomandibular joint, or TMJ for short. This is where your skull and your lower jawbone meet. It is the name of the joint. If you have any kind of problems with this joint, we call this a temporomandibular joint disorder, or TMD for short. TMDs, including arthritis, dislocation, injury, or infection of the TMJ joint, can cause painful clicking or locking in your jaws. It can also cause headaches, neck pain, and ringing in your ears. For many people, TMD symptoms don't last too long, but for others, pain and discomfort when moving your facial muscles is chronic and long-lasting. And it can definitely be made worse by clenching, chewing, swallowing, or grinding teeth over time. In minor cases, TMD pain relief is possible with non-surgical treatment options. So here are eight ways you can help to relieve your pain and manage the symptoms without surgery from the comfort of your own home. Number one, maintain the resting position of your jaw. To help alleviate TMJ pain, minimize wide jaw movements. This can include chewing, yawning, singing, and yelling. Do your best to keep your jaw muscles as relaxed as possible. Number two, correct your posture. Sitting in an unideal sitting position for long periods of time can cause you to feel more pain in your jaws. So when working, choose a chair with proper back support and take frequent breaks to improve your posture. While driving, set your seating position to the most upright as possible. And while doing leisure activities like watching TV or reading, choose a space that allows you to sit upright and place a pillow behind your back for additional support. Third is to get a good night's sleep. Sleep is important for many aspects of good health. To help minimize TMJ pain, sleep on your back and use pillows to help to support your neck. You should avoid sleeping on your stomach. And if sleeping on your side, try to avoid putting your hand on your jaw to rest it. Number four, use a hot or cold compress. Ice helps to reduce swelling and pain, while heat can help to increase the blood flow to the area and will help to relax the jaw muscles. Apply a hot or cold compress to your jaw for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, using a light layer between the compress and your skin to help protect it. Number five, try to reduce your general stress levels. You can try meditation techniques to help loosen and relax your jaw. Yoga practices can also help to put less stress on your jaws. And gardening is also a great activity to try to calm your mind and to help to relax your face. Next, I encourage you to exercise your jaws. Jaw exercises can help to increase the mobility in your joints. There are many jaw exercises that you can try looking up online that can help to reduce your pain levels. The seventh thing that you can do is try to take notice of any bad habits that you may have. You may have a few tendencies which may be causing your TMD pain. These habits can include nail biting, chewing on your cheeks and lips, resting your jaw in your hand, clenching your teeth, grinding your teeth. So try to take note of your daily patterns 
and jot them down so that you can discuss them with your doctor at your next visit. The last thing that you can do to help relieve your jaw pain is to avoid certain activities and certain foods. Specific activities and eating certain foods can cause you to open your mouth forcefully or may cause you to move your jaw in an extreme way. Try to avoid the following. Yawning or yelling, crunchy or hard foods, taking large bites of food, foods that require prolonged chewing, or chewing gum. So I hope that gives you some good information on how you can help to relieve your jaw pain at home. For some people with temporomandibular joint disorder, these at-home pain relief techniques may not be enough. In these types of cases, you may need additional evaluation and treatment with your dentist. So if you are experiencing any kind of jaw pain, clicking, popping, headaches, make sure to let your dentist know about it so you can talk about your treatment options. If you're in the Los Angeles or Orange County area, we would love to have you come to our office for a consultation. You can find us at smileonyoudentistry.com. Make sure to be subscribed to our videos. Thank you for watching.